Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Ability 411. It's Monday, and I'm Tiffany. So you may have noticed the change of scenery in the background. Yeah, your girl's tired. She has been out enjoying this beautiful Cali weather. It's been amazing. It, ugh. We have been freezing here lately, and today it's been warm, it's been beautiful, and I've been soaking it up. But I do want to extend a wish that everybody is safe from the storms that have been sweeping through the country and from the 411 crew, we all hope that everybody is safe and sound. Um, especially the people in the 411 crew, we love you and uh, we hope that you and yours are safe from any uh, misfortune. This week's topic is dating. Yeah, dating. A title of a famous movie can pretty much sum up my dating life. The good, the bad, and the ugly. My first real date happened about a month after I got out of the hospital. It wasn't a romantic dinner to movie, you know, wine and dine, how you doing date. It was more of a, you know, I'll come pick you up, let's go to a friend's house, let's just kind of hang out and get to know each other better date. And it was nice. It was sweet. You know, I was I was still very young. I was I was 20 at this time. The guy had to drive my car because I couldn't get in his truck. So that was fun cuz I hadn't had my car adapted. And it was so awkward because I had to use my slide board to get in my car and <laughs> you guys are really going to laugh at this one. My hand was still busted. I could still only use these two. So I had to put baby powder on the slide board so I could slide in easier. I'm not lying. I'm not joking. And to make things worse, my car had black interior. I'm not lying. You can't make this stuff up, people. So after it took me, you know, an hour to get in my car, no, I'm just kidding, it probably took me a good five minutes to get in there, then the, you know, embarrassing part came, to me anyway. He had to bust down my chair, because we had to put it in the trunk. So my grandpa, because I lived with my grandparents and my dad, my grandpa comes and he's showing my date how to bust down my chair. And he was a true champion about it. You know, he busted it down, threw it in the trunk, and away we went. Yeah. And that was my first, that was my first date. Post coming home. AOL chat rooms were really popular back in the day. And for some reason, I think a friend of mine may have hooked this kid me up or something I don't remember but somehow we got introduced and he and I ended up meeting up at this restaurant and granted he knew I was in a chair so he knew what I was getting into he knew what he was getting into so by this time I was driving and had my car adapted and I was getting a little bit more proficient in <clears throat> taking the chair in and out of the car and getting in and out of the car and getting around. During dinner, he's on the phone the whole time and he's texting. It's like, am I not here? You know, am I, am I not here? Do you not see me? So needless to say, that was a bust. But the best part was yet to come. So we get done with dinner and we're leaving to go back out to my car and he, you know, walks me out to my car 
And I go to get in, and he's like, can I help you with your chair? And I'm like, oh, I got it, you know, I'm a macho chick. He's like, well, can I watch you break it down? You know, I'm really curious to see, you know, how you do it. And I'm like, sure. So of all nights, my chair decides to not break down correctly. So I get in and I get the one wheel off and tilt it up against my car door, go to take the other wheel off, and it's not coming off. It's stuck. I'm like, oh, no, not now. So he's like, can I help you? And I'm like, sure. So just as he's leaning in to kind of help me, he it he like hits the chair just right as I'm pulling out the wheel. And I kid you not, I cannot make this up. I pull out the wheel at just the right angle and I ended up knocking him in his nuts. I'm not kidding people. He leaned over just right angle. I pulled up at just right angle. We connected. I knocked him right in his nads. I mean, I felt bad, but that's what you get when you're on the phone the entire time we're at dinner. Karma is a a word that rhymes with witch. So those are some of the interesting dates I've been on. And I've been on some really awesome, romantic, never going to forget them dates. And it's amazing. Like those are, those are the things that will stick with me. Those are the things that have touched me in my heart. And I will never, ever, ever forget them. And those are the ones that you really want to remember because those are the ones that you connect with. And I think when you have a date like that, you really connect with a person because a lot of thought goes into that and a lot of, a lot of emotion goes into those dates. And, you know, when you have a date like that, second dates come and third dates come and relationships come out of those dates and I don't know I think you allow yourself to be vulnerable when you have good dates versus bad dates so just think about that what are my thoughts on online dating online dating can be good you have to be careful with it like I said, I've tried online dating before. Online dating, you got to be careful with it because people nowadays aren't exactly who they say they are. Two years ago, I had a friend of mine sign me up on eHarmony. That didn't work out too good. I had a lot of weirdos responding to me, and that was just a big old mess. So, yeah. No bueno. But, you know, there's a lot of cool websites out there for disabled dating. I mean, I checked it out before I um, before I started this vlog, and there's a lot of good stuff out there. But you got to be careful. So all I'm saying is really do your research on it. You know, do the background work. Um, ask your friends in the community if they've done online dating. Just check it out. Be careful. And if you decide to meet somebody online, be wise. You know, tell somebody where you're going. Tell a family member. Do it in a well-known a well-known place that you know. Never do it in an unpopulated area. Always do it in a crowded area. Um, you know, if you can bring somebody, bring a friend, even if it's just for like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, just so that they know that you're going to be okay. Have a backup plan. You know, if, have somebody call and check on you every 30 minutes. 
these are all precautions. Whenever I go to meet somebody for the first time, I always have somebody call me like every 30 minutes. You know, hey, what's going on? How are you doing? And I will be like, okay, it's going great. Quit calling. Or, you know, the next 30 minutes, <laughs> call me and be like, yo, you know, your dog is in the hospital. You need to come home. I'm not lying. It happens. And it's, it's just something that is smart, especially if you're a woman with a disability. It's, you know, it's just something that you should do. And it's just being smart and protecting yourself. So those are my thoughts on online dating. And my dog agrees with me. <laughs> but anyway, my computer has been going dark on me all night. That's why, I'm, that's why there's a lot of cuts in this video. <sighs> uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Date. Don't be afraid to date. Don't be, you know, if you're having self-worth or self, you know, body issues or whatever issues, and you're scared to get back on that horse, or if you've gone through a bad breakup or a divorce, Lord knows, been there. The best thing you can do <laughs> is just go out there and get back in the world of dating. Even if it's just a date here and there. Because trust me, it is best thing you can possibly do just to know that you're appreciated and that somebody is interested in you and that somebody really cares and I don't know makes you feel good so please feel free to leave us comments um subscribe please subscribe we can always use some more subscribers and if you have any questions for any of the vloggers, or if you have any topics that you would like us to discuss, please send us a email to the ability411 at gmail.com. And it's just ability411 at gmail.com. I don't know why I put the ability in there. It's just ability411 at gmail.com. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week, and I will see you next Monday. I love you. Now I'm going to go get some sleep. <laughs>